Right, will Connecticut lawmakers pass more gun legislation this year? Hundreds came to the state capitol today to take aim at ghost guns and storage for guns and ammunition. Connecticut already has some of the toughest gun laws in the country, but our chief capitol reporter Susan Raff is finding out if they are enough. Many do not feel that the current laws are enough and that guns they feel are too easy to get. We heard some pretty emotional and compelling stories. If that gun in Greenwich was locked up, I wouldn't be standing here today before you as a survivor. Tara Donnelly's parents were killed in their Fairfield jewelry store. They were shot by Chris DeMeo, who stole an unsecured gun while robbing a home. That is something that's going to stop, and that's what this law will do. Lawmakers are considering a few bills. One bans so-called ghost guns and 3D printed guns, unserialized and unregistered. Parts are sold on the internet brother Clinton was killed in December standing in front of their Bridgeport home. Uh, my family took a tragic loss um, due to gun violence and you know it's something that, that we're trying to combat. And you know what I say? Bring it on. Another bill is named after Kristen Song's son Ethan. He was 15 when he accidentally shot himself with a gun owned by his friend's father. The gun was not loaded but was stored in a cardboard box with ammunition. The bill requires all weapons to be locked up. While Democrats are pushing for these laws, some Republicans are on board. It's obviously emotionally charged, but there's opportunities to bring everybody together into a room to have a conversation. The group Moms Demand Action feels Connecticut must pass common sense gun laws. The new technology is incredible. You can get in faster to a safe than you can to your cell phone. And, you know, that would have saved my child's life. There is another bill that would prohibit people from leaving guns in a car that is unattended. As for Governor Lamont, he says he will support any bill that gets to his desk. In Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.